Telecon Cable Systems, in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors, presents the South Union Township Sports Network. This evening, via tape delay from Warrior Stadium here on the campus of Penn Trafford Senior High School, we bring you WPIL Quad South section action as the Mustangs are entertained by the Penn Trafford Warriors. Hi again, everyone, along with Jerry Dupay, I'm John Kazarek, and we're set to bring you another night of Laurel Highlands Mustang football right here on CUTV Channel 62, home of the South Union Township Sports Network. Before we come back, with a look at this Penn Trafford Warrior Ball Club, let us first remind you that South Union Township Sports Network coverage is being brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rock Coble, and Tom Frankhauser, Telecon Cable Systems under the direction of Regional Manager Mr. Craig Tomsek, and CUTV and our main man there, Media Coordinator Mr. J.R. Wheeler. I'm John Kazarek with Jerry Dupay. We step out for a couple of minutes. We'll step right back in and take a look at this very good Warrior starting lineup right after. No question about it, Coach Art Tragus in his fourth year after 27 years at Jeanette. Last year took him to the uh, WPIL Finals, losing by one to a very good Upper St. Clair ball club in here tonight. Uh, just reloading, he's got a fine, fine running back in Wes Clemens, who uh, steps in and takes the place of Matt Gavrich, who has taken his game on to W&J. And Gavrich, of course, the all-time leading rusher in the history of the WPIL, and we were here the night that he went over the 5,000 mark. So quickly, let's take a look at their starting lineup. Dave Mack in the middle, number 64. 5'10", 210-pound senior center. Kurt Johnson, number 62. The left side guard at 6'2", 250, a senior. Steve Jules, the right guard. He's 6'2", 210, a senior, number 53. The tackles, Josh Gibson, number 77, at 6'1", 250, a junior. And Mark Weber, number 63, 6'7", 230, he's a senior. Now, they'll throw a four-wide-out set at you at times, and we'll give you everybody they got. They'll play five guys out there. Started off with one of the better ones in the WPIL, Marco Thomas. A 6-foot, 170-pound senior, number 20. Johnny Cartazzo, number 4, 5'11", 165, a senior. Matt Bruner, or Bruno, rather, number 10. He's 5'11", 165, a junior. And two more out there, Timmy Kearns. He's number 16, 5'11", 175, a junior. Number 23, Jeremy Molesky. He's 6-foot, 180. He's a senior. Starting tailback will be Wes Clemens, number 45, 6-foot, 200-pound senior. Has had a good start this year has had some big ball games in the early part of the season. And Mike Simpson rushed into duty because of an injury to the starting quarterback. He's 5'8", 165 pounds. He's a junior. This ball club is 3-1 overall. 2-1 in section play. Their only loss has come at the hands of Ringgold. We'll be back and uh, take a look at our Laurel Highlands Mustangs right after this timeout. And Mike Grimm, number 79, a 6'3", 265 pound junior. Chris Morris, number 77. Ben Persklove, a couple of sophomores are going to see action out there also. And the big guy, Ryan Mahoney, a 6'2", 260-pound junior. Your tight end tonight will be Joey Price, number 80, 6'4", 205, a junior, and backed up by Jeremiah Wally, number 82. He's 6'1", 210, a senior. Out on the flanks, it'll be Justin Gecap, number 11, 6'3", 170, a junior. And out there with him, Daryl Samuel, number 26, 6'7", 150, a senior. And Eric Fronsek, number 14, 6'2", 175. He is a senior. We will not see Rusty King, and we may not see him the rest of the year, of course, with that cracked collarbone suffered in the big win over Lake Trobe, and we miss him, I'll tell you. Starting quarterback, Danny Bosick, number 3, 6'7", 200-pound junior, backed up by Gitep. Starting tailback will be Travis Matthews. 5'8", 170, he's a junior, with Nick Lyon hopefully going to get some time. Nick, of course, with that very terrible ankle sprain in the uh, first game of the year, just now starting to come back. On the H-back side of it, look for Russell Gibbs, number 10, Kevin Rooker, number 30, and hopefully we may see a little bit of Brian Florkovich here tonight, the sophomore, or the freshman, rather, who was injured uh, against uh, the Connellsville JV squad and suffered, I believe, a mild concussion. Gibbs. 6'1", 170, a senior. Rooker, 5'10", 175, he's a senior. And also out there, you might see the young Russell boy and the Gibbs boy at uh, one of those positions. Todd is 5'10", 165, a sophomore. Gibbs is a 6'1", 170-pound senior. The two teams have come onto the field, and uh, we'll be back with the playing of our national anthem, the coin toss, and then get it going. It's Penn Trafford and LH right here on the South Union Township Sports Network. The Laurel Highlands Academic Foundation, founded in the spring of 1990. It's Laurel Highlands High School football time this evening live from Penn Trafford Warriors Senior High School Stadium here on the campus of Penn Trafford Senior High School. 
It's WPIO, Quad South Action, as the Mustangs meet the Warriors from Penn Trafford. Hi again, everyone, for WCQRFM Sports. I'm John Kazarek Lodge with coverage of tonight's game, and alongside of me, as always, Jerry DePay with the South Union Township uh, Sports Network camera. We do want to remind you that this ball game will be seen in its entirety at 6.05 Sunday evening on uh, CUTV Helicon Cable Systems Channel 62. The officials have met with the captains down below, the toss of the coin. And let's see what we've got here. Looks like the Warriors have won the toss. And they have elected to receive. So they will receive to start the ball game. LH will kick it off from left to right. Got a beautiful night for high school football. And the crowd continues to foul in here. Capacity around 7,500 is what we understand. They'll have a crowd in excess of 5,000, I would think, before this night is over. Steady stream continues to foul in. So let's take a look now defensively at just what you might see out there for the Mustangs uh, very early. Probably see Joey Price, number 80, and uh, Jeremiah Waller, number 82, at the uh, defensive end position. Look for Jared uh, Kingston, number 72, and Ryan Segman, number 55, to be your down people, with Mike Creighton also to be there. Your linebackers will be Etheridge, Russell, Gibbs, and Rooker. Your deep people could be lying here tonight. Uh, Nick has been uh, injured, but uh, look for Daryl Samuel back there. Bosnick deep, along with uh, Crane Act number 20, Travis Matthews, and Justin Dekep. L.H. will be wearing the white with the uh, red helmet and blue numerals. And Penn Trafford in the green and white. Look a lot like Michigan, uh, the green and yellow. Look a lot like Michigan State or the Packers. At this time, I want to thank the accounting firm of uh, Smith, Lewis, and Chesson Company for helping sponsor uh, tonight's Laurel Highlands telecast. The office is located at 625 Cherry Tree Lane, and the phone number is 438-7088. Again, thanks to the accounting firm of Smith Lewis Chesson Company for helping sponsor tonight's game on the South Union Township Sports Network. So here we go. Laurel Highlands uh, will send out Dieter Davis to tee it up, and it appears to be Wes Clemens standing center deep. The whistle, we're underway, the kick is a good one, a booming kick right down the middle, fielded uh, in front of Clemens and coming up the right side, big hole, cutting through and going to be driven down at the 38-yard line, good return, and coming out of the pack on the return is number 32, Nick Briol. So it'll be first down and 10 downfield at the 38-yard line. So good field position for the Warriors. Simpson is your quarterback. Molesky comes out here wide to the left. A one-back set, four wide outs. Simpson under center. They love to throw the football. He's straight back to pass. Rolling right side. Wants to air it out. Deep man coming open. Pass is complete. And he is to the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. Johnny Cortazzo for the touchdown. And L.A. had decent coverage. Just uh, a slip back there. And Cortazzo came back on the ball and made a great reception. It is a 61-yard play it comes on the very first play of the game 1138 of the first quarter and it was 61 yards to Portazzo and just like that we are down a ton in to attempt the extra point is Jonathan Golnowski it's on the tee plenty of leg and it is up and it is good so we've got time out on the field 11.38 to go, right on the money. Mike Simpson to uh, his wide receiver, Cortazzo, for the touchdown. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Well, the Warriors strike, literally, on the first play of the game. They go 61 yards through the air, and a great uh, throw and catch as they team up with Simpson and Cortazzo for the score, and L.H. down right off the bat seven to nothing. So the run up by Golnowski. His kick is high. His kick is very, very deep. Daryl Samuel at the five, ten, looks for a wall, 20, and out of bounds right at the 20-yard line. So the L.H. ball at the 20, first down and 10. They'll put it down on the hash mark right side. Sideline right, open field to the left side. 
In there, Jimmy Herford will call the defensive sets as the middle linebacker. LH comes out with a two wide receiver split, and the H-back rooker set to the left side. Matthews is the deep back. He gets the handoff. Good surge up. No. They close it immediately. Look for a second as if they had some running lanes. And nothing doing there. Big number 76, Justin Tice on the carry. Gain of one. And call it now second down and nine. 11.13 to go. Just underway in the opening quarter. Out over the football now. I think that's Ward, and it is. Number 53, Justin Ward. Wide receivers left and right. Bosnick back. Has time. Fires to Samuel, and he can't hang on. Hit him right in stride between the two and the six, and decent coverage that time by Marco Thomas. Brings up third down now. Third down and 10, we'll call it. Bosnick looks to the sideline for the call. Fronsek is out there as one of the wideouts. Samuel and Fronsek, along with Gutep. Big number 66 now, I don't like Creighton. Here's Price tight to the right side. And we got problems where? The clock's not running. And it wouldn't run on the incomplete pass. I don't know what the delay is. LH is going to get hit with a delay of game unless there was an official they sent him back in. Okay, they readjusted the clock. There we go. So I thought LH was going to get hit with a delay, and actually the officials had stopped it. So Bosnick is out and set. And we got a flag. LH moved before the snap. Looked like one of the linemen on the right side may have jumped. And let's see the calls. The officials confer. Boy, not the way you want to get started. Touchdown on the first play of the game. A uh, drop pass that was definitely catchable, and now a five-yard mark-off. So we're looking at third and 14 now, and the Mustangs going in reverse here at the 10.56 mark, trailing it by the count of seven to nothing. Out over the football comes Bosnick. Samuel wide to the left side. Bronsick out here. Wide right, that's Gutep back to throw, airing it out. He's got him coming open. He has pushed the call. Looked like the defensive back was riding him down there. And Bosnick aired it out. So incomplete. As they try to go deep and air it out, brings up fourth down. So LH will have to give it up. Here is if you had some hand checking down there on that uh, deep pattern. Bosnick in to do the punting. Twin safety, stand deep, line of scrimmage to 15, low snap. Got it out of there, and he is hit hard. No call, no flag. Ball bounding across the 50, across the 40. And I tell you, Bosnick is hurt, and no call. So they'll down it at the 39-yard line, right where they were on the first play. Okay, unless they tapped, unless they partially blocked it. I tell you, Penn Trafford has it. First down and 10 now at the 39-yard line again. Bosnick is to the sideline. They're looking at that ankle. Ah, oh, boy. When it rains, it pours. Pitch right side. Coming with it is Wes Clemens. Turns it upfield, and he's got good yardage out near midfield. On the carry of 10, and he has a first down. 10.29 to go. Kelly trailing it 7 to nothing, and they may have lost Bosnick for a while. Middle linebacker Ian Etheridge on the hit, but a gain of 10. Second down now. It's at the 49-yard line. Gain of exactly 10. Bosnick is down. Trainers working on that left ankle. Out over the football come the Warriors. Simpson under center. Wide out. Now he's back, has plenty of time, fires out here in the flat. What a catch. Oh, great catch as Lyon got two. Number 16 turns, but a gain on the play of about three. But I tell you, that was a diving effort. Second down now in about seven. Clock running at 9.50. Picture 
perfect catch as he was just uh, laid out for the grab. Kenny Kern. 7 0 ball game at the 9 40 mark. Again, four wide outs and a one back set. The CFLH comes with the blitz. They pitch right, look out, he's got some running room. Cutting it up the right side comes Cle Clemens and he'll be close to the first down before he is knocked down by Justin Gietep. He'll be a yard shy. Third down and one. I tell you, they pull a guard and get him out there and it's a convoy with Clemens picking up good yardage. Third and about one into the lineup. And will come Matt Bruno, number 10. Ball is at the 42, they need the 41. Less than a yard to go. As Simpson is under center. And a handoff straight up inside and first down yardage. As Etheridge makes the hit. It's gonna be very close. And I think he got it. Etheridge on the hit and it's gotta be the length of the football, it's gotta be a first down. It's gonna call for the measurement, but I'm looking right at it. They've got it by half the length of the ball at least. So 8.39 to go in the opening quarter. LH down 7 to nothing. Need a defensive stand right here, right now. They'll stretch it out. This should be a first down. And it is. By the length of the football, first down and 10. 8.39 remaining. Ball is at the 41-yard line. Wide to the right side goes Cortaza. He had the big grab early. Straight back, pressure coming, and he's throwing deep again. Man open, Bosnick tips it away. Great play by Bosnick as he got back there. Man was coming open at the 10. Number 16, Kearns, the intended receiver. Bosnick made a great play on it. Second down and 10, and I'll tell you, gave him some time, and he had some pressure coming, I think, from Wally from the left side. Lyon is going to be one of the corners out there, along with Rooker. On third down, or second down and 10, a draw. Emmons straight up inside, has a big hole. He's got the first down, and then some. Rips ahead across the 30 to 29 yard line before he is knocked down. Bosnick is there. Number 82, Wally is there and Jared Kingston. But on the uh, second and 10, they pick up 12. It's at the 29 yard line. Clock running at the 8-10 mark. 7-0, Penn Trafford Warriors on top. Wide to the right side goes Johnny Cortazzo. Under center, here's Simpson. Straight grass pass out in the flat, wide open, complete. And I think that's Molesky. Jeremy Molesky makes the grab and is hit out of bounds. He'll be very close to the first down. Mark Cranach knocked him out of bounds, and it will be a first down. So the Warriors on the move again. It's at the 18-yard line. 7.49 to go, and we've got a 7 to nothing Penn Trafford Warrior lead. They're threatening for more. Wide to the right now, and we'll go. Marco Thomas and Johnny Cortazzo. Turn split to the left side. Three wide outs actually to the right. Under center. Hand off straight up the gut and hitting for good yardage down to the five yard or ten yard line. Goes the big tailback, Wes Clemens. Joey Price on the hit and it's down at the nine. Second and one. And that's the 730 mark. Penn Trafford on top by the count of seven and nothing. And boy, I tell you, crowd continuing to come in. We got a lot of them up on the hillside here and across the way with the band. Back to throw rolling, pressure coming. Looking, looking, firing, and touchdown. Boy, he drilled it right between three defenders. And let's see who got the grab. It looks like Jeremy Molesky. So Molesky. 
with the touchdown. So an eight yard pass to Molesky. And this one comes at the 7.07 mark of the first quarter. And Golnowski will attempt the PAT. Boy, they look sharp out there throwing that football. It's a beautifully well-conceived, well-designed offense. PAT is up and good. So it's a 7.07 mark, 14-0. The Warriors on top. We'll be right back. again. He has already kicked two PACs and says this will be his second kickoff. It is 14-0 and the run-up. Kick is very high and very, very deep again. Samuels at the 6, 10, 15, 20. Looks for some running room. Gets outside and crosses the 30 to the 32-yard line. So relatively good field position to start this drive and LA will have it first and 10. Three and out the last time. Let's see if we can get something going now. That's the 32-yard line. First down and 10. Sideline to the right. Open field to the left side. And L.A. Break huddle. And they've got that one back set with a wing set to the right side. On first down and 10 from the 32-yard line. Bosnick under center, sprint out right side, handoff, and it closes in a hurry. Travis gets up ahead for a gain of about two before he's knocked off his feet by big number 54, Jimmy Herford. Second down now, and eight. The ball spotted at the 34-yard line. 14-0, Warriors on top. Two 69-yard scoring drives in their two possessions. Wing set left, Bosnick, look out, it's a jailbreak. They're coming, he's firing, he's got his man. Threaded it in the middle and got it to Darrell Samuel and a pickup of about eight. It's gonna be a yard shy, gain of seven on the play. Boy, I tell you, he saw the pressure coming. And Bosnick did a fine job. Third down and one. Very important for the L.A. psyche right here and their momentum and their spirit to get a first down here. You don't want to turn it over again on a three and out. Well, they got it stacked right in front. Bosnick keeps it, and he'll have the first down. Stepped on a little bit of a delay and then moves it up ahead. Gain of four, and he has got the first down. So L.A., their first first down of the night comes at the 5.49 mark. It's at the 46 in L.A. territory as Ward comes out over it. Rooker, the back set left and a handoff to Matthews and no one, I mean nobody, laid a glove on Matt Virginovich. Gain of absolutely nothing. Second and 10, 5.19 to go. Now Lake's looking at second down now. They'll send wide to the right, Daryl Samuel. Bosnick directs the offense. Sends a man in motion, rotation. They're coming quick. Little throw to the left side. This could be a loose ball, and it is. And this could be a backward pass. Let's see if he rules it a lateral. And he sure did. So that is not an incomplete pass. That's discredited as team negative yardage. That ball was thrown backwards. Would have been a fumble. So third down down, about 17. I want to thank the 1998 L.H. Football Boosters, President Tom Segman, Secretary Jackie Frontek, Vice President Dick Rockwell, and Treasurer Linda Rooker for helping sponsor tonight's telecast. Third down, Bosnick back, look out, has pressure coming. Going to air it out, upfield, fires it for Samuel, and they come together at the 28-yard line, and going for the ball is the call. So that'll bring up fourth down and long. L.H. will be forced to kick it away. So Darrell going deep that time, and the NLH will have to kick it away. 
So the Mustangs get a first down, but then have to kick it away again, and Bosnick will do the honors. Marco Thomas, one of the deep men, the rush. The kick is a line drive. Fielded at the 30, and great block on the corner, and upfield on the return comes Ryan Dean. Etheridge on the hit, and it will be first down and 10 for the Warriors. They'll have it at the 41-yard line. Four minutes exactly to go. 14-0 first quarter score. It's at the 42, and they've had good luck driving it from this end of the field. First two drives were a couple of yards behind, and that's the 39. This one is at the 42. First down and 10. Clemens, the deep back pitch. Clemens looking for the corner, cuts up, big hole. He's to the 50. He's to the 40. He's down the sideline to the 30. One man to beat, cuts up, he's gone. 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Clemens in for the score. And another one play drive. And that one covered 58 yards. Comes at the four minute mark of the first quarter. Golnowski with the PAT. And it's 21 nothing. As they go up the field, we'll be back. 21 nothing in favor of the Warriors. Yeah. Yeah. Strike again. They go one play on the ground. Take it 58 yards for the touchdown. Samuel and Matthews will return Golnowski's kick. Well, he's got a work out here already. And he hammers another one deep. This one to Travis. He's at the 5, 10. Waits for the wall to form. 15, 20, 25, 26 yard line. And down he goes. First down and 10 for LH. Put it down at the 25-yard line. Bosnick comes out to the spot at the 341 mark. Alex looking at first down and 10. The ball is at the 25-yard line. 21 nothing score. Warriors on top. Option right. Nowhere to go for Bosnick, and he is just hammered down. Loss of five. Second down and 15. Kurt Johnson on the hit. For the air has just gone out of the L.H. bubble, no question about it. Second down, 15. Bosnick out, Bosnick set. Clock at the three minute mark. Fake, option right, he's keeping it. Up over the 20, 25, to the 30 yard line and out of bounds. Gain of 10. Option play to the right side and out of bounds at the 250 mark. Third down and about five. 21 nothing. Ten Trafford Warriors lead it at the 250 mark of the opening quarter. It's all Penn Trafford. Back to throw Bosnick. Looking, firing, passing, complete in and out of the hands of Daryl Samuel. That, my friends, will bring up fourth down again. LH one of five. Bosnick will punt it again. 
Going back deep, Ryan Bean, number 24, and Marco Thomas, number 20. Let's see if they come with a rush. They do up the middle. The kick is end over end. Headed over here towards Marco Thomas, and out of one tackle, stepped out of two, and down to the 38-yard line. L.H. had a shot at him back near midfield, but he stepped out of the grasp of one of the cover men. So 2.32 to go, now it's at the 39-yard line. 21-0, your score. First down and 10, the Warriors. LH will play at home next week against Norwin. Twin wides right, twin wides left. And Bosnick will be the free safety. On first down, handoff is to Clemens. And he is hit quickly by Etheridge, but bleeds ahead for a gain of about two. Second and about eight. Give him three. Second and seven. 2.15 to go. It's at the 34-yard line. Price and Wally are the end. Kingston, I see, number 72. And it might be grim. I can't see the other tackle right now. Back to throw. Time. Deep. And complete to the one-yard line. Cranach closed on it. And it went uh, between Cranach and Travis to the one-yard line. And the catch there by number 16, Timmy Kearns. It's that a one-foot line. So very, very close to being a 28-nothing ball game. Wow. Clock is running. Number 59, that's Bobby Neverdale out there. For L.A. Good to see Bobby getting some action. First and 10. Mike Simpson has been, has been sharp. is hit at the line and touchdown. Ethery put a hit on him, but uh, he was able to just uh, nudge it ahead for the touchdown at the 115 mark. And going out to see PAT coming. We'll make it. It is 27 or 28 nothing. Yard drive and up and good. We got a minute 15 to go. 28 nothing. Your score on John Kazarek for 2.99. We break for 60. Going out to to tee it up again at the 115 mark. Bombs it. Matthews, 10, 15, and out of bounds at the 22-yard line. First down and 10, L.A. And number 79, Mike Grimm, 66, Mike Creighton. Etheridge, Segman, and Ward. That's the interior of the line. It's at the 21-yard line, first down and 10. Left side, Bosnick, Keats. Options out the side and nudges it ahead for a gain of about five. Give him four. Call it second and six at the 51 second mark. Line of scrimmage is at the 25 and a half. Second and 
six now with 33 seconds to go. Bosnick rolling, firing, incomplete. Had a man in the area. Brings up third down. 25 seconds to go. This is a running play, and he stays in bounds. It'll be the last play of the quarter. 28 nothing is his score. Elliott down a bunch. Four possessions for the Warriors, four touchdowns. Through the air, on the ground, they've done it all. Third down, Bosnick back, rolling, looking, turns upfield, and he is drilled. You can hear the leather pop all the way up here as number 72, Tom Full, made the hit on Bosnick, and that brings up fourth down, and that'll do it for the quarter. 28-0 is your score in favor of the Warriors. Snaps a good one. Rush kicks away. Fielded on the dead run. And up the left sideline comes Marco Thomas. And he is drilled at the 38. So again, it's first down and 10 excellent field position at the 38-yard line. First down and 10. and you score at the 38-yard line. Out over the ball they come. Simpson, the quarterback. Clemens is the deep back. Handoff is to Clemens. Big hole, 25 and down. Finally at the 25-yard line. As he picks up big yardage on the hit. And that was Daryl Samuel and Rooker. It's at the 25 yard line. First down and 10. Clock running at the 11.32 mark. They're going to run a little reverse to the left side. And here comes uh, Thomas. He's to the 15. He's to the 10. He's to the 5. He is in for the touchdown. Marco Thomas, 25 yards. 25 yard run by Thomas. And would you believe it's 35 to nothing. 38 yards, two play drive. Comes at the 11-19 mark of the second quarter. And what can you say? Breaking the Arnie here in a second. On the tee. It's down. It's up. And Golnowski has it through to make it 35 0. They get back up the field. We'll be right back. Golnowski teeing it up. 35 0. And the run up. Kick is bombed, and I mean deep, Samuel lost it, picks it up to the five, ten, has a little bit of a hole, and still on his feet, and he is hammered at the 20. First down and ten. 35 nothing score, L.A. Down. And some changes, let's see, in that offensive line, trying to look and see that. It's like basically the same offensive set. First down and 10. Want to again thank the accounting firm of Smith, Lewis, and Chesson Company. They are proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of tonight's L.A. Mustang football game. Their office is located at 625 Cherry Tree Lane. And the phone number is 438-7088. Right side, Matthews has some running room and picks up five yards. Gain of five, second and five. Beam on the hit. LH went outside that time, actually got six. 
10.50 to go, 35 nothing. second quarter score. Warriors on top. Bosnick is out, Bosnick is set. On second down. Handoff goes to Travis Matthews. He lost the football. And no indication yet, but the Warriors act as if they've got it. And they're clearing everything out of there. Who's got it? Ken Trafford does. So close to a first down, it would have been. Ball popped loose, and the Warriors have got it back again. 10.25 to go. It's at the 28-yard line. First down and 10. Thirty-five, nothing. Your score. And let's see if they made any changes yet. Jerry, we got a new quarterback in. Okay, we indeed do. That would be Bobby Sadler, and doesn't make any difference as they hand to Clemens, and he is hit down after a sizable game. But we got a flag. Cranach on the hit, but it looks like we're going to get our first flag in the night against the Warriors. A holding call. Okay, Bobby Sadler, the 6'3", 165-pound senior. And he, I think, was the guy that uh, was hurt early in the year and is coming back to get some time here tonight. So don't think that we're looking at a, a drop in talent right now because this guy didn't start the game. He is their normal starter. He's 6'3", 170 pounds. So a loss on the play is 10. That's the 35. Second down now and about 17 to go. Call it first, rather. First down as Neverdale checks in. First down and 18. Back, throws a little screen to the outside. Gets a block on the corner. Steps away from one and down he goes. Gain of about four. Pass complete to Thomas out here. And on the coverage for L.H. making the hit was number 22, Nick Lyon. So a gain of about five. Second down now and 13 as we hit the 9.28 mark. Receivers as Sadler and a sprint out right. Fire into the middle and it's complete. What a catch by Cortazzo. And he scored it a first down. Johnny Cortazzo. As he is knocked off his feet. Bosnick there on the hit, along with Vitep. Samuel into the lineup replacing Cranek. Third down and about two. 8.49 to go. 35 nothing. Warriors on top. They've let it literally since the first play of the game. Under center is Sadler. Going to pitch. Running room. LH not closing on it. And now they do. And stood up and dropped for yardage. Is uh, Todd Russell making the hit? Lion on the hit along with Russell. And that will bring up fourth down and a loss on the play and they'll look at fourth down now and two clock running at the 810 mark they're going to attempt a field goal here this one will be a 37 yards golnowski will attempt it out of thomas's hold here's the snap on the tee has the leg it is up and it is no good hit the post i believe Looks like it might have hit the right upright. So LA will take over, first down and 10. That is the first time they've been able to stop him. Had the distance. Looked like it hit the, did it hit the upright, Jerry? It looked like it might have hit the post. So it will be first down and 10 LA. First down and 10. It's at the 20. So this is gut check time right now. You've got to hang in there and give it your best. Bosnick straight back, has some time. He's going to fire, and he'll overthrow down the sideline. Now we get a flag. Might get 
defensive pass interference. I'll tell you what, could have used that call on our first possession as they were looking uh, for the flag, that first possession on uh, Samuel. There it is, and this will be a 15-yard mark off and give us the first down. So LH picks up another first down. I should say they're second. And this will move it from the 20 on out to about the 35-yard line. So first down in 10 LH. Seven forty-five to go. Grimm is the tackle to the left side. Segment is the left guard. Bolish is in there. Etheridge is in there. And I think that's Mike Creighton. First down and ten. Motion coming from Rooker. Pitch to the right side. Travis hits up in and gets a yard. 35 nothing, 7.34 on a turning clock. Defensive end Jackson on the hit. Ball is at the 36 and a half yard line. Sideline to the right, open field to the left. Looking out on this beautiful view, uh, Route 130 runs right through Jeanette and right past the school here. Second down, they're coming with a blitz. They pull the safety up, now he backs off, and the handoff goes up inside to Travis and he gets a yard. 6.54 to go, 35 nothing. They start the second half with this 35 point differential, then the clock rule applies. About eight. Bronsick wide left. Samuel in the slot. Left. And a one back set. Bosnick straight back. Look out. One, two, three, four, five. Getting after him. He had no chance at all. And he is slammed to the ground. Six minutes to go. Loss on the play of seven. And the snap is high. The kick is away. Marco Thomas is back deep, takes it at the 40, retreats, and down he goes. Good coverage by Etheridge, along with D tap and a pounding at the 41-yard line, first down and 10. Jerry, I tell you, I was on that field. It is literally like a highway. It is hard, and it is chewed up. And normally, this is a beautiful, beautiful field here, but I tell you, it's taken a pounding from all of the football, junior high, JV, and... I think they play midget league up here in addition to all the soccer games. And that field right now is like concrete. Hand off Thomas on a reverse, blocking ahead. 50, 40, cuts against the grain, and he may go. He's at the 30. Still on his feet, breaks out of tackles and gets to the 12 yard line. It's at the 12 yard line. Cranach makes the hit. On the reverse, he takes it 10, 20, 30, 40, about 45 yards. First down and 10. Sadler in over the football. They come. Josh Gibson, big number 77, one of the tackles. First down from the 12 at the 5, 10 mark. Up inside, and I'll tell you, we just are not tackling anybody. Big number 32, Nick Broke, was hit behind the line of scrimmage. And just broke the tackle and then just kept on a running. Timeout on the field, official timeout. What do we got in A's now? We'll break for 30 seconds, 4.53 to go, 35 nothing in favor of the Warriors.
at the two yard line. First down and 10, the first down by the Warriors. They're looking to make it 42 to nothing here before halftime. And out over the ball, they come. Billy Sadler under center. Sprint out right, handoff right, and touchdown. Walking his way in. Goes number 32, Nick Brault, the junior back. So this touchdown comes at the 427 mark of the second quarter. And a two-yard run by Brault. PAC a coming from Gonalski again. 41 nothing is your score. I tell you, we have just lost all of our intensity on that drive. Several shots at ball carriers on the last two runs and just didn't put them away. On the tee, it is up and it is no good. Take it back up the field. We have got ourselves a 41-0 lead in favor of the Warriors. We'll be right back. Keen it up is Golnowski. And LH down 41 to nothing at the 427 mark. And run up. It is very high. It is very deep. And again it is Matthews. He lost it. Got it back. Lost it again and falls on it at the 12. I tell you, when it's going bad, it's going bad. First down and 10 now, LH. 4.22 to go, 41 to nothing. Warriors on top, and John Kazarek. And we've got Jerry Dupay here on hand with the South Union Township Sports Network. Following tonight's game on CUTV, Charleroi and Brownsville. That could be a good one. Bosnick under center, long count. Left side, Matthews, and boy, he is swarmed under. Josh Peer on the hit. 4-11 to go. Travis with a loss of one. Second down and 11, it's back near the 10-yard line. 3.57 to go, 42 nothing, 41 nothing rather. Warriors on top, what can you say? Bosnick rolling in the end zone, have some running room. Gonna fire, had a man open and short hops it in two fronts. That'll bring up third down. Third down. inside their own 10 yard line huddling. And they'll come out over the football. Bronson, Sandal. Wide to the right on third down. Bosnick, look out. Fires upfield and incomplete. And I tell you, can't fault him there. He has three Warriors right in his face. Fourth down and 12. Bosnick will kick it away. Stands in his own end zone. Runs it out. Short line drive. Taken here by Thomas. He, there's a clip, no question about it. And the tackle by Billy Dykes on the return man. Nice coverage by Dykes. There was a block in the back. And second flag coming in. I don't know if this is the same call or we got another one on top of that. It'll be a block in the back from the 32. And then a good full minute later, a second flag came in. 325 to go. 
the second quarter. It's all Penn Trafford. They lead it by the count of 41 to nothing. And let's see the mark off now. He'll come from the 38. And I'll move it 5, 10, 15 yards. And let's see if we get a second call. We've got a clip there. No, the second flag was just the same uh, infraction. So the Warriors getting ready to come out, and they're going to send a whole new unit out here, it looks like. Indeed it is. So let's see who uh, Art Trageser has. Got number 82, Golnowski, who is a kicker. Merginovich, 84 and 24 go wide. That's Ryan Bean, along with Petropola. As Bobby Sadler is out at the 325 mark. They hand it off up inside. Bobby Neverdale on the tackle. So LH with Neverdale making the big hit. Stops the ball carrier dead in his track. No gain. Second and ten. Bobby Neverdale, number 59. Second and 11. Sadler at the 248 mark. Comes out and set. Second down. Going to pitch to the left side and Good yardage. Bosnick going to make the hit on Kirk Rogers. He'll be about five yards shy of the first down. 41 nothing. your score. L.A. Greensburg, 41-10. 41-10, Greensburg, all over Hempfield. This has not been a good year for Hempfield. They were defeated 40 five to nothing here earlier by the St. Penn Trafford Ball Club. Third and five, two minutes to go. Motion, Rogers. Little inside counter and not gonna get there. Good play by LH as the initial hit was made by Kevin Rooker. Fourth down. Minute 38 to go, and Art Trageser appears to be sending his punt team on. I tell you, you got to give him a lot of credit. He's a class act all the way. The opportunity to talk with him by phone earlier this week and met with him down on the field. And the classy gentleman. Golnowski will kick it away. Daniels is deep at the 116 mark. The bullet kick is a beauty, end over end. Samuel, fair catch at the 15. First down and 10 with 105 to go. Forty-one nothing. Warriors on top on this beautiful Friday night. Summer has definitely bid us a very pleasant goodbye. Ball has moved in, and uh, in all honesty, we're approaching what I consider to be one of the most beautiful, not the most beautiful months of the year in October. Go on out, take advantage of that great fall foliage that we've got down in Fayette County. First down, and nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Matthews is stuck. It'll be second down now. Loss of two, 12 to go. Into the lineup for L8. Will come number 71. Chris Saunders. Up inside, the handoff comes, and Matthews breaking ahead. Picks up 14 yards, then lost the football. Let's see the call. 
He has the first down, but the ball tossed up on the return. So 14-yard pickup by Matthews. And he lost the football and recovered by the Warriors. 41-0 with 20 seconds to go. So the defense will come right back onto the field. First down and 10. 27-yard line at six. One running play, and we could be in the locker room. And I'd be very surprised right here if Art Tragaster does anything other than just hand the ball off. And the handoff goes right side. They got a hole. Here comes Harris, and Geetap will hog time and get him down. It's down to the 10-second mark. And that, my friends, is going to do it for the half. We've come to the end of the first half here at Penn Trafford Warriors Stadium. 41 to nothing in favor of the Warriors. I'm John Kuzarek for 299. We'll be back with uh, the law in favor of Penn Trafford. Down to the Laurel Island Senior High School Marching Band. marching band performing here at halftime. It's 41 nothing in favor of the Penn, Penn Trafford Warriors. I'm John Kazarek for 299 and for the South Union Township Sports Network along with Jerry Dupay here. We want to say thanks again to the LH uh, football boosters, the 1998 Laurel Highlands football booster officers, President Tom Segman, Secretary Jackie Frontek, Vice President Dick Rockwell, and your treasurer, Linda Rooker. And thanks to their support and their help in sponsoring tonight's game on the South Union Township Sports Network. Down below, the LH band continues as we're at halftime. 41-0 your score in favor of the Warriors.
Senior High School Marching Band. Warmly received here by the faithful from Penn Trafford as the band begins to depart. And a very impressive show put on by the band. Looked real sharp this year. Brand new uniforms and nice halftime show. Penn Trafford Warrior Marching Band getting ready to come up forward. We're in halftime. 41 0 your score on John Kazarek 4299 and to the South Union Township Sports Network. Very quickly, just recap the scoring plays. LH uh, kicked off to Penn Trafford. They right wait to go time. 16 one yard pass. Simpson to Cortazo on the first play of the game. DAT by Golnowski made it seven and nothing. LH was three and out to get the ball right back and a 69 yard again drive by the Warriors for a little more time. This time an eight yard uh, pass to Molesky for the touchdown. That made it 14 and nothing. Laura Hollins again gave the ball up on three and out. This time it was a one play drive, a 58 yard run by uh, Clemens, Wes Clemens for the touchdown. And that made it. And the clock will be running on stop as the officials assume their position. I know Art Tragesser over there right now will get an opportunity to play his second and maybe third unit people. And his primary concern right now is to get some experience for his backup people. LH wants to uh, make a statement as far as pride here. They want to come out of here and make a good showing his second half and put some points on the board. The clock will run nonstop here in the second half. LH will send. Number 26, Samuel. Number 28, Matthews, back deep price in the front wall in front of him. Right there with him is Etheridge. Across the way, Justin Ward, Jeremiah Wally, Justin Bolish in that front line wall, along with Purse Glove, Frank Francis, Mike Crouch, and I think Billy Dyke. Kick is away very high and very deep, and Matthews at the five, ten. Oh my, Matthews is hit and hit once, twice, three times, and down at the 20-yard line. First down and ten for the Mustangs. The clock will run at the 11.53 mark. First down and 10. Mosnick is out and set. Time called momentarily. Got an equipment adjustment? No. The Warriors are short a man, and they're forced to take a timeout. So Penn Trafford will take a timeout, and we're going to step out for the 60-second timeout. Following the timeout, LH has it first down and 10. Hand off Travis Matthews, and he is just annihilated behind the line of scrimmage. No one touching the big tackle, blasting through there. Loss on the play is full and tight. Makes the stop. Second down and 14 to go. L.A. coming out. Got that one back set again. Bosnick, pocket pass, fires upfield, incomplete. Try to get it to Daryl Samuel. Brings up third down now on 13. Third down, 13 yards to go. LH trailing at 41 nothing. here. The clock will run. Okay, this hillside over here to the left is just full of kids. Most of the adults uh, in the stands as expected. Closet rolling left. Setting up, firing, and he is dropped and hammered to the ground, and he is shaken up. 
I tell you, he is one tough cookie. I'm going to tell you right now. Very inspiring story considering the health problems that this young man had last year and the surgery that he had. And I tell you, he takes the pounding out there as he is tonight. Never complains. Just hangs in there and gives it his best. Gets the kick away. And this will take a Mustang bounce and cross the 45 and be blown dead at the 47-yard line. So it'll be first down and 10 Warriors. They will put it down with 9.46 to go. First down and 10, 10 Trafford. Clock will start as they reset it. Put it down at the 44-yard line. First down and 10. See if they've got Sadler back out there as your QB. They want to give him some work. Pitch to the right side. Ball carrier turns up. Nice hit. Coming up from the secondary is Cranach. And he drills number 32, Nick Brault. Beautiful tackle by Cranach. Up from the secondary. Bosnick, Cranach, Gutep, Lyons. Russell back there for L.A. Along with Rooker. Etheridge in the middle. Trying to set the line for you. Bright. Wally. Appears to be Neverdale. And maybe Kingston. I'm not sure. Second down handoff. And... They hit by number 46, Todd Russell, on the carry by Rogers. Brings up third down now as we go to the 835 mark. Third down and one. Samuel checks in for Bosman. Third and one. Clock running with 8.20 to go. center. Sadler on a handoff set right out of the tackle comes Rogers. He has got yardage galore and he is hammered but we got a flag coming in. Holding. This will be a 15 yard mark off from the spot and this will bring up third and long. It was a first down carry. They'll march it off. Holding, Warriors, and they'll move it back and spot it at the 45-yard line and make it third down and nine. 41-0 your score. It's at the 45. Again, I want to thank the accounting firm of Smith, Lewis, Cheston Company for helping sponsor tonight's ball game on the South Union Township Sports Network. Their office is located at 625 Cherry Tree Lane, and the phone number is 438-7088. That's the accounting firm of Smith, Lewis, Chess, and Company. Draw handoff, and they'll get the first down. Ripping it straight ahead goes Kirk Rogers. And they've got the first down. Etheridge on the play, and it's first down. Clock down to 724 and counting. That's the 32-yard line. First down and 10 Warriors on top, 41 nothing. Under center is Bobby Sadler. Sadler on the pitch. Russell in pursuit. And there's a cut by Rogers. He is to the five-yard line and still on his feet to the one. And he'll have the first down and goal to go from the 34-yard line. He takes it to the one. And they'll put it down there. First and goal at the one. Clock is running. Warriors with a first and goal at the one. Sadler out over the ball. Uh, 
under center. Pitch to the right side, and he can walk in. And the touchdown by number 27, Kirk Rogers. Rogers with a one-yard run. And the touchdown comes at the 628 mark of the third. Bonasti to attempt the PAT. And they need one more player out there for the Warriors. Late getting a man out. And now they get him out. So they'll attempt the PAT from placement. Here's the snap on the tee, plenty of leg, and it is good. Make it 47 to nothing, Warriors on top, and with 6.28 to go in the third, I'm John Kazari, we'll break for 60. Yo. LH will return the kick now. Golnowski will tee it up. Samuels back deep to run up. Kick is very high. Angle to the right side and will hit dead like a wedge at the 10. Picked up there by Matthews. He's got a little bit of a hole and he's to the 27-yard line. First down and 10, LH. 79 out there for LH. That's Big Mike Grimm, 71. Coming out there is Chris Saunders. Segman will check out of the lineup. Saunders is the right guard, Etheridge is the left guard. It's either Bullish or Ward under center. And on first down, motion. Quick pass to the outside, complete to Travis Matthews. And he's ahead for a gain of maybe one. Slipped down after he made the catch. Second down now and about 10 at the 544 mark. Another substitution for L.A. Ryan Mahoney checks in. Out of the lineup comes Mike Grimm. And wide out left and right. One back set on second down. Bosman back throwing incomplete through the hands of Samuel and a flag. We'll see the call. LH will get the first down of the third and 10, and this should be a pass interference call, and it is. No mark off five, 10, 15, at the 521 mark. First down and 10, 5.18 to go. That's the 41 yard line. LH trailing at 48 to nothing. Receivers wide right. A one back set in behind Bosnick. On first down, Bosnick back. Setting up. Going to throw deep downfield and incomplete. Brings up now, second down and 10. Second and 10. That clock uh, now starts to run. Second down and 10, 4.43 to go. LH. Trailing at 48 to nothing here. Bosnick is out. He is set. Straight back. Fires outside. Complete to Gitep. Little juke move to the 50, and he's got a first down. Should be to the 49-yard line, 48-yard line, and that's got to be a first down. So Bosnick hooks up with Gitep on an 11-yarder. First down and tennis at the 48. 4.15 to go. Put it down at the 48-yard line. First down and 10. Bosnick is out and set. 
Going to throw again. Now tucks it under, makes a move, and gets three yards down to the 45-yard line as he was on the verge of being sacked and then moved ahead. Helped up there by Big Ian Etheridge. Gain of a couple, second and eight. 341, 340, 339 to go. LH trying to drive. They're at the 45-yard line. First time they've been in this territory of Penn Trafford, I think, the whole night. Bosnick rolling. Quick flip. He's got his man deep tap and deep tap down the sideline. Has the first down. Gain of 15 on the play. And LH picks up the first down. That's four completions now for Bosnick. And the clock is running. We're at the 3 2 mark. LH on a one-back set now from the 29-yard line. Looking to get their first score. Bosnick under pressure, rolling right, rolling left. Going to fire. He's got his man, Fronsack. Gain of six. Nice catch by Fronsack. He is immediately drilled down, but a gain of, let's give him seven. Five completions now for Bosnick. Second down and seven. Out over the ball comes Justin Ward. Chris Saunders. Etheridge of the guard. Handoff goes up inside to Travis, and he is smothered. Segment will check in for LH. Loss of two. Third down and about five to go at 151 and counting. Bronsek wide to the right side. Detep is in the slot. It's at the 24-yard line. Bosnick rolling. And look over here, throw back screen. Price, 25, 20, 15, and he's got a first down. So the completion to Price. And a gain on the play of 10. So LH moving down the field right now. First and 10 at the 15-yard line. Down to a minute 24 and counting. Ward out over the football. First down. Back looking, throwing. He's got his man, Fronsek, gain of three. Gain of three, second and seven with 54 seconds to go. Second down and eight. Play being signaled in from the sideline. Bosnick wants and gets a timeout. 30 seconds to go, LH. <laughs> Had some confusion, so timeout on the field, 48-0, L.H. driving, late third quarter score, we'll be back in 60. L.H. has had their timeout. Looking now at second down and seven from inside the 15, Bosnick. Back, throwing to the end zone. Gitep has it tipped away. Beautiful play by Kern. And the clock will stop with eight seconds to go on the incomplete. They'll start it back up. That'll do it. End of the third quarter, 48-0 in favor of the Penn Trafford Warriors. The firm of John & John, located at 96 East Main Street, Uniontown, is proud to be a...
looking, firing, got his man close to the first down. Let's see the spot as he hits again with Bronsek. He's had a big drive, big series on this drive for Bronsek. He's got another catch. And LH has the first down, first and goal from the three-yard line. As a morale booster, just love to see him get it in. First down and 10, a first and goal from the three. Bosnick, quarterback sneak right side, and he's in standing up for the touchdown. Bosnick for the touchdown. And I tell you, a lot of class. He gets into that end zone, just hands the ball to the official. So the touchdown comes at the 11.32 mark of the fourth quarter. 48-6, LH will go for two. From the full house backfield T formation set, they'll hand it off right side and in for two goes Matthews. So Matthews from the wishbone for two and make it 48-8 now, LH down. As we go back up the field, 11.32 to go, we're gonna break and we'll be right back. drive and a big drive through the air. Frontek came up with three big catches on the drive. Gitep with a couple and Price with one. So LH looking sharp on that drive. Davis's kick is fielded by one of the upbacks. That's Nick Baralt. He's got a big hole. Look out. Up the right side and Frontek finally knocks him down at the 45. It'll be first down and 10 now for the uh, Penn Trafford Warriors. Rooker also there on the hit. 48-8, LH down. And new quarterback in to 13. Mike Divins checks in. Clock will run. 11-13, 11-12, Divins deep handoff. And Etheridge from the backside on the tackle, gain of four. And on the carry that time is Rob Gata, a sophomore, gain of three, second and seven. I want to remind you that right after tonight's game, very, very quick wrap up, Arnie Amber will be with you with all these unlimited. We we'll have some scores for you. 13-12 Connellsville down to Norwin. And uh, I believe it's Latrobe over AG in the second half. He run the reverse again. This time it's Abe McCafferty. He's got a big hole. He may go. He caught. He's to the 30. He's to the 20. He's to the 10. And he's in for the touchdown. Abe McCafferty takes it the distance. 49 yard run by the backup tailback. I tell you, only a sophomore. That comes at 1021 of the fourth. He got loose in the secondary, broke some tackles, and he was gone. So the Warriors will go for two. We got a timeout taken. They're short people. This is the problem you run into when you get late in a game, when you got a big score and you got backline people. They were short. Three people. Okay, we'll be back uh, following this timeout. It's 54 to 8. Penn Trafford. I'm John Kazarek. We're coming back. to attempt the PAT. It's on the tee, and it is up, and it is good. So Bismarck 
a happy young man as the sophomore linebacker drills it through to take a 55-8. So we'll just keep it right here, give Arnie a break back there and remind you that Holdies Unlimited will be coming up following tonight's ball game. Arnie had his anniversary show here a couple of years, a weeks ago, as he starts, I believe, on his 22nd year with the best of the oldies from the 50s and 60s each and every Friday night here on Q99, WPQR-FM and 1340 WCBI. Norwin up over AG by the count of 21 to 7. We had a score early here in the second quarter. It was 40 to 14. Greensburg Salem over Norwin, excuse me, over Hempfield. So we're ready for the kickoff now. Matthews is deep with Samuel. And the kick coming. Keying it up will be Visnick for the clock at the 10:21 mark. And the clock operator not starting the clock down here. He's supposed to be running this thing. There's the whistle. The kick is up. The kick is away. The kick is high. The kick is deep. Matthews, 15-20. Has a crease. Comes out of there. He's to the 40. One man to beat. And the kicker, Visnick, will run him down at the 48-yard line. First down and 10, L.A. Saved the touchdown, so L.H. will have it first down and 10 at the 48-yard line. He's at the 48-yard line, first and 10. Ten twelve to go. Bosnick under center. And a step back. Oh, he's got a man streaking open, firing wide open through the hands of Gtep would have been six. Second down and ten. He had come open. Nine thirty-three to go. Bosnick. Then Gtep to the right. Now we got timeout. Confusion in the offensive set for LA. Second down and 10, 9.29 to go. Big uh, weekend for collegiate football. Some great matchups. Penn State, Ohio State heads the way tomorrow. LSU, Georgia should be a good one in the Southeast Conference. Arkansas, Kentucky night game it should be a good one. Arkansas, big win last week over Alabama. Worst beating Alabama suffered in quite some time, 41-7. And Kentucky with the one loss will be sending out Tim Couch, their Heisman hopeful against a very good Arkansas ball club. Second down and 10 now. Bosnick's out, Bosnick set. Clock is running. Gonna run a little bit of reverse, and Samuel's got some running room. 50, 40, cuts against the grain. Still on his feet to the 29-yard line. He's got a first down. So Daryl Samuel picks up 21 yards. Mustangs pick up the first down. First down and 10. Clock running at the 9-10 mark. 55-8. It's at the 29. First down and 10. That lake's down 55-8. Out over the ball comes Bullock. Bosnick under center. Straight back pocket pass, pass time. Fire into the end zone, man, open! And through the hands of Gtep. Hit him right between the one and one. Incomplete. Second down now and 10. I'm sure no one feels worse about that than Justin. He came wide open. Clock running with 8.24 to go. 
Samuels checks in. Price will come to the sideline. Second and 10, play signaled in. That's the 29, second down and 10. Clock running with 8.09, 8.08, 8.07 to go. Motion now on the no-back set. Back to throw, Bosnick coming hard, steps up. He eludes the rush, he's to the 20, he's to the 10, he's to the 5, he drops the football, picked up in the end zone by the Warriors. This could be a touchback. I thought I saw a flag. Was there a flag, Jerry, out near the 25? There it is. Yeah, it is. I saw a flag. Illegal shift against L.A. Now, let's see what they say. Was he down at the one-yard line? I think they're spotting the ball. Looks like at the one-yard line, he was down. So if that is the situation, they'll bring it back. Here's the call. Illegal shift against no declined first down and 10 so warriors take over at their own one yard line first down and 10. so it'll be at the one foot line at the one first down and 10. clock will run 744 to go the warriors down deep in their own territory Bosick on the verge of scoring that time. Great run. So it's first and ten. The crowd beginning to vacate. New quarterback in there right now is Cardamon. See if he just wedges it straight ahead. And he gets it out of there for a bit. Pick up of a couple. 7.15 to go. Quarterback keeper game two. Wally on the stop. Into the lineup for L.A. Will come Eddie Cup. Second down, seven minutes to go. 55-8. L.A. very close to getting in this last time. Just couldn't quite punch it in. Bosnick got to the one-yard line, was hit, and it was recovered there by Penn Trafford. Second down now, 6.48 to go. Cardamone, the quarterback. See if he just keeps it straight ahead. And we've got some motion. And let's see the call. Official step in. At the 640 mark. And mark it off against the Mustang. Offsides L8. So it'll be second down now in about three. Clock is running at 637. 55-8. Penn Trafford Warriors on top. The L.A. touchdown on the run by Bosnick. Hand off to the left side. It's on the ground, and I think L.A. has got it. And Billy Dice on the recovery. So L.A. will have it at 6.15 to go. Dice recovers at the seven-yard line. So L.A. going to try and pound this one right in there. 6.15 to go. Mustangs with the football. First down and goal at the eight-yard line. Mustangs send Gtep out wide to the right side, down to 6.09. 6.08, 6.07. Let's get another touchdown here. Bolas is out over the ball. Bosnick, quarterback option, right side, straight up the middle, touchdown. So Bosnick takes it in with 5.59 to go. Eight-yard run. Dice, fumble, recovery, set it up. We've got a final on Connellsville, 18-13. They defeat Norwin. So LH will go for the two. And Bosnick sends receivers right and left. He is straight back, gonna fire on the lob to the end zone, incomplete, and a flag. 55-14, they'll do it again. Five 
minute 59 to go. I want to remind you, Arnie Amber is up next with Oldies Unlimited. Steady stream that was filing in here from 6.45 on to 7.30 is now a steady stream going the other way as they file out of here. I'll tell you, one of the premier facilities, but boy, that turf down there, wow. Like concrete. LH will come out in the wishbone set, I believe. Lead back will be Etheridge from the one and a half. They'll hand it off up inside and nothing doing. As the 559 mark, the PAP is no good. 55-14 your score. I'm John Kazarek for T99. And we take a break. as we view this game on uh, channel 62 on your helicon cable systems here uh, in Fayette County that the uh, Brownsville Charleroi game is up and coming. I want to thank J.R. Wheeler down there for all the help he's given Jerry and I these past seven years. The run up, Davis's kick is high, short, skips behind, headed towards the goal line. It'll go into the end zone, touchback. It'll be first down and 10 now. 51-23, Greensburg all over Hempfield. So it's at the 20-yard line, first down and 10. Albert Gallatin losing to Latrobe, 21-7. Some substitutions for L.A. Keith Bowley checks in. Bobby Neverdale sprinting for the sideline. And look out, got a big hole right side, and first down and 10 comes Rogers. Clock continues to run. McCafferty on the carry. First down and 10. And the clock will run. Etheridge checks out of the lineup. Eddie Cup comes out of the lineup. L.A. touchdown tonight, scored by Bosnick. Three-yard run at 11.32 of the fourth quarter. Nice drive of close to 80 yards, all primarily on the air, through the air, rather. And they'll pitch, come the other way, got a big hole, turning it up, 40, 50, and he's out of bounds. Clock continues to run. McCafferty across midfield, and this will be a first down to the 45-yard line. Clock should be running. I tell you, the clock operator's got to get that clock running. It's at the 43 with four and a half to go. 55-14 your score. New quarterback in there. This one is Mike Diven. And lost the football. Got the bounce back in. Break tackles and look out. Here goes Chuck Lishock. He's on his way. He's to the 15-yard line. They're just running right over and right through tackle. Down to the 14-yard line. First down and 10. Four minutes and nine seconds to go. That's the 14, first down and 10. The L.H. had some good penetration that time, but just couldn't put him away. Jimmy Stillwagon in there in the secondary. Ball loose on the ground again, and the quarterback is dropped. Number 13, Diven. Lost the football, got it back, was pinned down. Into the lineup for L.H. Number 88, J.W. Eddy made the stop. Also, Luke Boda checks in. J.W. a sophomore. Second down and 12. Good penetration that time. Bill Wagon lines up on the corner. And we got a flag. Let's see the mark off right here. Dead ball procedure against uh, Penn Trafford marks him back across the 20. 
and it's down to 320 and counting. I do want to remind you as uh, we approach the end of tonight's game that Oldies Unlimited is coming up next right here on Q99. There's a reverse handoff. They've got a lot of blocking out here. And stepping through and going to the end zone. Number 33, Rob Gata for the touchdown. Gata, number 33, takes it 23 yards. And that makes it 61 to 14. 254 to go. This one was decided early on in the first quarter when they just roared out to a 28 to nothing lead, possessed the ball four times, scored four times, never looked back. And the kick on the way is up and good. As Donofsky drills it through, we'll be back. 62 to 14, 10 traps. I thought the uh, indication from the PA that uh, Connellsville had won their ball game. There's a loose ball picked up by Wally, and Jeremiah will run it out. But Connellsville has now fallen behind in their ball game with uh, Norwin. Clock at 234 in County. LH will have it first down and 10. First down, 10, L8. It's at the 30 with 2.27 and counting. Got a new quarterback in for L8. Pick up the number. It's like number 12, Justin Bullish, the sophomore. And he'll flip it off. On the carry, is that Russell Gibbs, 10? Okay, number 20, Mike Crane, Mark Cranack on the carry. to go and 62-14 been Norwin since the opening kickoff LH is going to run the clock out here now with 149 to go wide to the right side that's Steve Harper under center sprint out hand off right side and Cranach ahead for two more Substitution for LH. In the lineup comes Frank Francis, 58. Out of there comes Keith Bullish, 51. And the final is going to be 62-14, I would think. LH looking now at third and about four. And the pass to the outside, incomplete. And the clock will continue to run. Brings up fourth down. Back into the lineup for LH will come number 86, John Whitlatch. Fourth down and five, 45 seconds to go. Want to remind you, that Oldies Unlimited comes up next here. And on the TV side, leave it where it is as Brownsville will be taking on Charleroi. That juggernaut continues to roll. And the pass to the outside, it's complete. And coming ahead for good yardage for LH is Billy Dyke. And he'll have the first down. Good catch by Dyke. Six foot, 155 pound sophomore. We're down to 18 seconds. This will be the final play. First down and 10 LH at the 49-yard line. Out over the ball they come. Might be Jeremy Paul, 68, and there's the center. Long count. Back to throw. Fires. Complete out here. And taking it for first down yardage is Jimmy Stillwagon on a fine catch. And that, my friends, will do it. 62 to 14, your final score. 
Penn Trafford roared out to a 28 nothing first quarter lead, never looked back, and win it going away. I'm John Cazares for Arnie Amber and for WPQR. Stay tuned. All these unlimited comes up next. The final score, Penn Trafford 62, LH 14. We'll see you next Friday from LH against Norwin. This, my friends, has been a Q99 Sports Presentation. Arnie, final time here at Penn Trafford Warrior Stadium. It's all Penn Trafford over LH 62. 14. They roared out to a 28 nothing first quarter lead. Never looked back. And LH uh, got a couple of touchdowns from Bosnick in the uh, second half. And it was all Penn Trafford. So LH has to regroup and uh, try and get ready for next week when they'll be at home against Norwood. I'm John Cazares reminding you that South Union Township Sports Network coverage brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring the township supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rock Coble, and Tom Frankhauser, Telecom Cable Systems under the direction of Regional Manager Craig Tomchek, and CUTV and our main man there, Media Coordinator Mr. J.R. Wheeler. For Jerry Dupay, I'm John Kazarek. We bid you a very pleasant good evening. Stay tuned. Charlotte Roy and Brownsville comes up next. This, my friends, has been a South Union Township Sports Network presentation.